This is Duke University. But I'm really glad you brought up the kind of the challenge and the burden of photography that for anybody who studied photography knows that it has this um, the burden of, of, of trying to, or, or having the illusion of conveying a certain kind of truth and, and reality. And anybody who um, I would argue is visually literate knows that's a big lie and a big myth. Um, any photographer that I've spoken with, both um, fine art and documentary photographer, will ultimately confess, you know, what you're looking at is a fiction. But it has this veneer of the real. And, and that's something that uh, perhaps they know they're playing with. Yeah. Um, I would just say, and, and this isn't, I don't study photography and video, but to me, I think that his work in, in still photographs is a very different uh, problem from his work in, in, in the moving image. I mean, when you go into the gallery and you're surrounded by these screens and they're, they're carefully coordinated, but they're jarringly uh, disjointed, you f I feel very much that's, an, that's the artist's aesthetic statement coming to the fore, uh, even more prominently, I think, than the imagery to me. Um, but then when you look at it in still photographs, there I, I find it trickier. A little bit. There's a there is a sense that there's a there's a um, communication of a sense of rea reality. I don't think that's his intention, but I don't get that from the video. So I don't know if there are any artists in the room who can comment on that. But that's my own impression as kind of a, a naive viewer. The video as an installation feels very much like the artist's statement. I know he also works in still photography, but when I see the stills from the enclave. The impact is very different. You know, um, George, when you were describing um, your your wonderful concise history of 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 the, the, the crisis in the Congo, um, I flashed on that film from the 1980s in a very ironic way, La Vie est Belle. You know, <laughs> yes. this was a very popular film that was an international runaway hit, mm -hmm. shot in Kinshasa and uh, has, uh, has these incredibly playful, delightful um, people and storylines mm -hmm. and um, music. And it was in the depths of the Mobutu <laughs> moment. <laughs> so I, I guess what I'm saying or thinking is that, you know, um, um, so much uh, media... Uh, I, you know, has this this Faustian deal that it, it that it that it lays out uh, whether it can you know address the real and the truthful or whether it perhaps succumbs to the medium itself to create a kind of a vision a narrative that that uh, that, that that may not be able to capture and 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 grab a hold of all aspects of that world but might perhaps give you a glimmer of it. I mean, when you were talking earlier about what was left out, I was thinking about what photography does. Photography is an editing medium. You, you, what you're seeing, when you look at that image by Alexander Gardner, you get one little bit and piece of, 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 of Virginia, wherever um, Alexander Gardner took that photograph. You're not getting the other parts outside of that picture. There's that great uh, book, um, The Medium is the Message, and there's a great scene of, um, of, of, a, of a billboard in uh, Birmingham, Alabama that says, Damned the Defiant. And then in the next picture, Marshall McLuhan opens up the picture and you see an African-American woman being carted off by the police and thrown into a paddy wagon with that same image, damn the defiant, in the background. Just to remind you that the, the camera and photography has this uncanny way of not giving you what you see as a human being, but, but giving you that or that. And that it's in that um, that, you can, that, that you can really manipulate and turn people um, into thinking that, that there's a world there that, that they're engaging with. And um, that's just how it works as, as, as photography. And I would almost dare say that even some of the most quote-unquote documentary 
earnest um, photographers that we have, you know, still do succumb in their own way to the kind of power of that medium to manipulate, to do things that, um, that only, you know, these media can do to, to create another story, another world.